morning. Hey. Hey. Everybody awake? <laughs> Sorry. I just want to order them to wake up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. So good morning and welcome to uh, Overs UPSEC EU 2015. This is different than other UPSECs because this is the first UPSEC we organized as a group of chapters. So the Benelux, the Belgium, Netherlands and the Luxembourg chapter. So we did also local events before and now we do a global UPSEC as chapters. So that's really great, it's something different. We have 10 years of UPSEC EU. 2005 was the first one. So how many UPSEC EUs we had so far? This will be number? Yeah. Hey, so this, those people are awake. <laughs> I'm happy it's our next keynote, uh, keynote speaker. So I myself, I got hooked by all of us in 2006, the first UPSEC conference I've been at. It was a great experience. There were no boundaries. It was not like, ooh, he's like a long time member and he's new. It's very flat. I really hope we can go back to that feeling like everybody is welcome. If you're new, if you're a 10 year, 20 year professional, I don't care. We are all equal, we're all working for the same purpose. So I hope you get as hooked as I got back then, yourself, to the coming in today and the coming day tomorrow. So what happened so far? So for you, it's the first conference day, it is, but we had much more going on already. We had two days of training with 127 people trained in the one and two day trainings. We had two nights of bug bash, bug bounty. That worked really well, so people were getting paid for hacking, it's always good. We had the project summit, so a lot of volunteers worked on 13 projects in their own time for two days, improving the projects, the deliverables were are for free for all of us. Also we had the university challenge, and that's a bit of my own you know, child. So the university challenge we started four years ago, and this time we had Six, 11 teams from six different countries. So I think that's where it's so two, uh, eight, almost 80 students hacking for, uh, just for fun for two days and they got a prize as well. But that was really great. They're really working and sweating for two days. And I have to say thanks for Hacking Lab to support that. Housekeeping. So the breaks are on the schedule. It should be okay. We have an announcement when you have to be back in the rooms. And as your security people, you never read, so this is the Wi-Fi code. It's, yeah, oh, no, wait. <laughs> ah! So you are here now in the forum, yes? If you have questions, they are not related to the content of the conference. There's a Y info desk there, so if you need a taxi, you cannot find your hotel. That's where you have to be. If you have conference-related questions at the registration, please, or the, as the uh, conference organization room, you can ask them. That's about the conference. We have awesome radio. We have already seen it. Radio gaming for two days. So <clears throat> when you have enough of security and you just want old-fashioned uh, old gaming, you can be there. We have tools so when you improve your physical security skills, like lock picking, they are there as well. And we have our own CDF with prices from thousands, 400, no, ah, I love surprises, but you get prices. <laughs> First, third, uh, second, third, we'll get uh, prices. Amazon gift cards that are sponsored by Society. And when you have, like, feeling really sore uh, for being really educated in the conference and uh, listening to talks, so to get a bit loosening up, we have two masseuses. They work for you pay what is your worth. So they have no strict price. You get your massage and then you pay them as you think, yes, that's worth 25, 30, 40, 100 bucks. That's what you pay. <laughs> it's a friend of mine, so don't be Dutch. <laughs> as the place underneath the staircase was a bit awkward, putting my friend beneath the staircase, so we moved them between the CTF and two. It's not as squeezed in as it looks, so please be welcome to go there. You all got blue coins, except the speakers that got red coins. So for the blue coin, you can get your conference shirt. The blue one is a conference shirt, you see. Is there a color missing? Where are the Dutch people? Is there a color missing? White. white. So the white shirts were for the university challenge. And you know students, they get something for free, so they just took them all. All other colors we have plenty, and you can buy additional shirt in every color you want for 10 euros. And this year, for the first time, 
in OPSEC as well, we have all sizes also as female shirts. So you bring one home for your wife. So look, honey, that's what I'm doing for my work. I've been in Amsterdam, I've been working, this is the shirt. Please. The tracks today, the hack track will be here. Tomorrow it will move. So I know it's complicated. Today the keynotes are here and the hack track. Tomorrow here will only be the keynotes. Upstairs, when you go around the uh, corner, when you're upstairs, to your left there's one room 102. That will be the hack bar sessions. This next room, 103, will be the Caesar track. Then there are two rooms together, so it's the 4 and 5, 104, 105, that are the dev tracks. Then the, the next two rooms are the ops tracks. And all in the back there is the hands-on session. So we have four hands-on sessions today from 9.50 to 12.40. We have mobile up reverse engineering. Uh, this afternoon we have a SAP hack shop. Tomorrow morning there will be the OWASP Shepherd project, so the CTF-ish. We will explain you how to use it for awareness. Fail. And afternoon, that will be the B framework. What's more? I said, you never read. So the Wi-Fi password, it's very complicated, I know. It's Amsterdam in lowercase. It's on your, it's on your brochure. Sorry? I know, that's what I did for you. So you can remember. At every room, when you leave the room, I don't really like myself when I have to leave a room. I have an extended evaluation form. So we have two cards. When you think that it was as expected, it was not special, no bad, just don't leave a card. When you think this guy had a good girl, had a good talk, give him a green card. If that, this was wasting my time, give him a red card. So it's a very basic feedback form. So when you leave the room, there are cards out there in the box. If you don't care at all, just walk by. If you say, I want to like, really thank him, green. If you think, I don't want to see this guy again or girl, red. Yeah? Very basic. You should be able to do that. <coughs> there has been some misunderstanding of uncertainties about the social event. The social event is included in your ticket. Hey. Hey. We will, so we have a great thing. We will meet at the registration at uh, 1815. At 1830, we have seven boats going from here to the NEMO, NEMO Science Center. NEMO Science Center is a center where they try to get the youth interested in science with some uh, labs there. And all labs are open. So you can play around all day, all night. Also, we have the uh, live band reverse. And later on, there will be jam sessions. So everybody who thinks, hey, I can, I'm decent with drums, guitar, bass guitar, the band said we will be allowed to use the instruments to jam around. So we have music from them. They should be good. And we can make our own Overs Blues Band, getting together, jamming, have fun, and hopefully people will be able to stay in the room. <laughs> so the boat trip, it's one hour guided tour from here to the Nemo. It's uh, finished, I think, 11.30-ish, uh, I'm not sure. After that, you are on, on your own. When you leave the Nemo and go over the water, that's the red light district. I hope I see the most people back tomorrow morning. <laughs> this is the meeting area again for the boat trip. So when you are anywhere else, you might not be able to get on the boat. I have nothing back up. When you're not on the boat, you get to the Nemo by yourself. Yeah, we have 520 seats on the boat, on the boats. That should be more than enough. So be there and make sure that every boat is free, fully loaded. So we don't want to have the first boat leaving half filled and then people waiting the end. Yeah, so that will be like a challenge to have all you doing the same thing correctly. <laughs> you have in your baggage also the OWASP Fender passports. So it's a uh, motivation to. Uh, Doing a good job. Yes, of course. I'm your support staff. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Finally, it's working. Um, <laughs> so it's an initiative to get people to the vendors because we have to thank our vendors. They do a great job. They make it as possible to keep the prices that low. Uh, they are also sponsored good prices. So for the vendor passport, in the end of the conference, there will be a drawing. There are headphones 
worth 200 euros and has an Xbox. So, but only if you stay for the closing talk. There's no guarantee. So when you put in your card, you leave and you're lost in that red light district and never come back, you won't get your prize. You have to be in the closing note. Yeah? So thank you to the sponsors. They really, really make it happen for us. They help us a lot. As always, we are non-for-profit. We're not earning any money. So defenders are really those who help us to make this happen, to make our projects happen. So I cannot thank them enough. We have a great bunch of keynote speakers, speakers, hands-on sessions. So I'm really excited in this conference. When I first joined the conference in 2006, as I said, I said, I want to have a conference in the Netherlands. And finally, we succeeded, only nine years later. And it's the biggest APSEC EU ever, because we have more than 540 registrations. So I think that's really great. And it's all up to you for making this a great conference. <laughs> Keep calm, have fun. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Martin. Um, this is just, Martin actually gave me only six minutes, and I think I have to maybe be even, even shorter. I will try. Uh, so this is just a couple of words from the uh, organization, uh, and to talk a little bit about who is OWASP, what are we doing, what are you doing here, what could you do in the future. Um, obviously, we are very happy to be in Amsterdam. This is a brilliant venue, and a brilliant team working here. I've, I've heard quite a number of amazing stories, all this, uh, this huge capture the flag activity going on. This is truly amazing. Who is OWASP? OWASP is a global community of about uh, 40,000 people in different chapters around the world. Everything we do is open source. I mean, obviously, as you're here, you probably already know that, but I thought it's worth mentioning. Uh, we have, at the moment, 142 active projects. So this is a lot of opportunities and stuff you can use, or you can come and join and uh, work with us together on these projects. All the projects are open. Uh, you don't need to ask for permission at OWASP. You just do. So feel free to, when you see something, when you hear a cool talk, and you think this project is cool, go for it, OK? No need to ask for permission. Better ask for forgiveness later. Uh, we have now 239 chapters in the, around the world. So wherever you go, if you go on holiday and you kind of feel itchy and you want to talk about AppSec, look up your local chapter, okay? I'm, there, there's a high probability you will find one. Maybe not in the Maldives yet, but well. Um, as I mentioned, 44,000 people, uh, participants in, on our mailing list and communities. So wherever you need an expert or you're looking for something or you're wondering about a question, uh, it's quite likely that we have someone who knows the answer. Governments seem to like us. I don't know. Maybe they like open source, maybe they don't. But at least they like quality, and I think that's what we can offer them and deliver. Uh, obviously, and uh, academics like us too, and we love them, as you've seen before with the Capture the Flag. Uh, we also, of course, uh, love our corporate members because that is what helps us uh, keep this community um, going and also keep the prices to a level that is good for everybody to participate. And, of course, uh, we love our supporting membership crew. Uh, at this moment, it's about 1972. That's close to my birth year. I think we need to go up now. You know, this number needs to go up. So I hope if you like this uh, conference, you talk to others, join a chapter, become a member. Um, there's one challenge with membership. Actually, everything we do is free anyway. So it's like you, you're not getting extra value, but what you're getting is you supporting the community, and in that regard, you're doing something good and getting value. But you get, anything, you get everything for free already. But uh, as you can see, I think at least 1972 people think this is worth supporting. And maybe I can convince you by the end of this conference, too. Um, we have a strong operations team. They make this whole thing go smoothly. Uh, and I think, uh, could they stand up? Uh, we have Paul in the back as our executive director. So if you have any questions, uh, we have Ke Yeah, thank you. Um, 
Kelly? Kelly? Is Kelly here? Really Kelly is working at the registration. Okay, Kate? Okay, then they get a big applause in absence. And of course, the whole other team, uh, Laura, Noreen, our community manager. Noreen is here? No, also not. They're all working. Okay, what can I do? Well, I have all the fun and they do all the work. That's kind of a little bit unfair. So big thanks to them. Uh, here are a couple of pictures uh, from the last year. And actually, the one on the left bottom is from yesterday, from our Capture the Flag here in Amsterdam. University Challenge. Yeah, what? University Challenge. Yeah, sorry, University Challenge. Thank you very much. Uh, bottom right is from the AppSec in Japan. Uh, top left is from actually last year in, in London, uh, in Cambridge. And uh, top right is from a chapter meeting. So you see we are everywhere and uh, there's all, all over the world are crazy people about application security. Also from me uh, and from the whole board, a big thanks to our sponsors. Uh, we are really grateful that you help and support our community and um, we hope you can see that this is really for a good cause and uh, I think our community can appreciate that and your support. And well, uh, to conclude, um, I, at the beginning, I said, what is OWASP? Who is OWASP? You are OWASP. It's, it's for you. It is free to use, it is free to participate, and it is free to contribute. So don't hold back. Go in, discuss, state your opinion. Maybe it's wrong, maybe it's right. It's definitely, we want to hear your ideas, and we want to include you in our community. Join, sorry? Can you say something about Martin and the work you've been doing? Yes, yes. The best comes last. <laughs> um, sorry. Good. So join a chapter, join a project, join our global communities, and so on. Uh, next to last, uh, there is going to be also an AppSec in USA. So if you want to go to San Francisco in September, I heard the weather is beautiful then. Uh, there's also going to be an amazing conference, which will be the AppSec USA. Um, so, come over. I think the speakers uh, are always a little bit different, so you can hear something new here and you can hear something new in the US. So it's worth actually going to both. And yeah, last but not least, uh, a big thank you to Martin, uh, who organized this conference for us. Thank you very much with the whole To, together with the whole team, the men in red, okay? They are who make this thing happen. So a really a big thank you, and I know it's a heavy, hard workload. So thanks a lot, guys. So, so with that, I close. Um, let's learn, let's meet, let's share, and let's just have a great time. Okay, thank you.